Today, we've got a special guest that we're talking to, a, a guy by the name of Jared Parsons. He's got a really cool concept, and he's got a business that he's doing here. It's a, an insurance agency, but it's an insurance agency for people all over the nation. And a little bit of background about Jared himself. He's a veteran. He's an entrepreneur. He's a father, a dad of three, a husband, a Christian, and he pioneered the first national and virtual insurance agency. And we've got him on the line right now. Jared, how you doing? Great, man. Great to be here. I appreciate the time. Well, I'm glad to have you on the program, and this is such a cool idea. And as I was telling you before we got on the program here, this is an idea whose time has come. I cannot believe that everybody's not doing it this way. This is such a brilliant plan. You know, and that's actually how I, I felt uh, when, it, when it kind of came over to me, and I felt led to be able to do this. You know, every day I drive by insurance agencies on, on every corner, and the one thing that they have in common is that they're normally either charging crazy fees to be able to, to be a part of their agency, or they're beholden to one company, and they've got one policy with one price. So if they want to be able to, to be competitive, they got to carve out coverage and give their customers uh, not as good a coverage as what we, we think you know, is best for them. We'll give the website 972parsons.com. And the thing that's neat, I asked him, I was like, why is it 972parsons? That's also their phone number. So 972 P-A-R-S-O-N-S is the number to call. But the 972parsons.com, how long have you had the site and how long have you been doing this? We've been doing this as a virtual national agency for going on four years. And how have people that have found you, how have they typically reacted to the, the products that you have and the service that you guys give? You know, they love it. But I think that what speaks volumes is our referability. So we have referral chains that go on that are 25, 30, 40 people long. We don't spend a ton of money on marketing. Uh, we're not some, you know, big uh, corporate machine. We work with people. We help people. And they end up sending us their friends, family, and coworkers. As corny as that sounds, right, uh, this is an organic thing that's just grown. And we've been really excited to be able to add new people on to our family internally and have new team members come on. Uh, I, we, we call them family members. I feel like everybody that's a part of the, the agency is a is it like a brother or a son or a sister, you know? Yeah, that's awesome. Just visiting with you, I can tell that this is something that you're really passionate about and you really care about this. You know, it, it is. My dad actually was an Allstate agent back in the 90s, and he left the ministry to be able to become an insurance agent because we lost health insurance and my mom was going through breast cancer. At that time, he said, hey, i got to be able to put something together to be able to make money for my family and also pay these exorbitant bills. They weren't going to be covered by our health insurance. The neat thing about that experience, one, is I got to see somebody be an entrepreneur, and it taught me how to do it on my own as well. The other neat thing was that in Oklahoma, we deal with a lot of natural disasters, right? So one of the things that we dealt with there uh, in the 90s was where a whole town was hit by a tornado called Mulhall. So he made me go with him uh, uh, when I was in you know, middle school, go with them and hand out checks to all these people that lost their homes uh, a couple days after the storm it hit. And the interesting thing about it was I never really thought that I might have this kind of interest in insurance, but what I found is more of a social issue. And I feel like what we're doing by taking the mix of technology and this virtual agency, we're bringing the best deals and the right coverage to those types of people that we were handing out checks to years ago. I can just picture that in my mind and what an impression that would make on a young man to go with his father, you know, in the wake of a disaster to be the bright spot in someone's day, handing them a check saying, you know what, this isn't going to this isn't going to make it go away, but it's certainly going to help you move forward and and what a what an impact that would make on a young man. It, it was interesting because it was a it was a mix of emotion from these people. Either one, they felt like they were getting uh, you know what they deserved and they were being identified for their loss. Or two, they, they might be uh, unhappy because it felt like they maybe they needed more coverage. But in that scenario where he was just uh, agent for one company, he only had one answer, right? So when we're beholden to a brand, whether that's we're buying a commercial that we're seeing on TV that we think is funny uh, or we think is cute or it's something that makes us feel safe, we're also giving up the ability to be able to make sure that we have 100% of the right coverage day in, day out for our family when we come up to these different changes in life. So the great thing about us being independent is that we actually have the ability to make sure that our customers get the best rate and the best coverage that they really need, as opposed to just coming back to them with one type of policy with 
one price. And the only way that they can maybe make it within your budget is to have to carve some of those coverages out so that when you do get hit by that tornado, like in Mulhall, um, or any of the other things that we see, natural disasters, hurricanes, Katrina, anything like that, or these floods that just happened in Baton Rouge out of nowhere where we had customers lose their homes, you want to make sure you got the right coverage when that stuff happens because it's just things that are unexpected. Again, visiting right now with Jared Parsons, and he is with Parsons Insurance, and their website, once again, is 972parsons.com. I'm on that site right now, and, and it's it's cool. When you get on here, there's information that you can kind of go through and, and learn a little more about the company for vehicle insurance, life insurance, property insurance, and even business insurance. And something that's a little different about this compared to a lot of the insurance agencies that people listening right now might know about Typically, they work with somebody right here in one community, but you can work with people all over the country. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's what we do. We have experts that are experts in your state, in your region, that know the carriers that are looking for your type of risk. You know, one of the things that we run into a lot is folks that are maybe on the coast, uh, their house is on stilts, uh, their house is you know, where it gets flooded or storms on an annual basis, that type of stuff you know, we can cover. Or it's a farm, it's in the middle of Iowa, and they only know of a couple of brands that are right there local to them. But there might be other companies, international companies, that are interested in that type of risk, where the price can be sometimes a third or a quarter of what they're already paying um, for the same or more coverage. So if somebody reaches out to you to get a quote, is there a fee for that, or is this a free service? If I say, hey, this... You know, I'm, I'm looking for a better deal than I have now. Can you guys help me? How, how does that process work? So all they have to do is go off to the website, 972parsons.com, and without the interference of an agent, all they have to do is go ahead, put their information into the site, and it takes them through 90% of the process there online. Now, it's a free service. The funny thing that I've seen from these independent insurance agents is that they seem to pack on fees different places. It's just kind of kind of nuts. They're already getting a great price from from one of their uh, independent carriers, and then they tack on a fee because they're already so much lower than some of these other direct carriers. We don't charge any fee. Look, at the end of the day, we want to be with our customers for life. I want customers for life, and I want to treat people the way I want to be treated. And I hate salespeople. I don't know about you, but when it starts feeling kind of salesy, I'm out. This is not that. This is 100% about what their needs are, uh, what they're looking for, and then we try to help. Now, we're not trying to come in and, and bundle everything together and get 20 different policies at once. That's not us. We want to know what's on the table, what you're interested in, and then we're going to go ahead and give you a price for it. We're going to call you back when we've got the best quote, and then that's it. You can either be interested in it or not. But we're not going to be calling you every day, trying to sign you up, and then calling you telling you that we're raising your rates every 90 days or a year, which is something that we see here in Texas all the time. That's crazy. And you were saying that they can legally raise the rates every 90 days. So what do they do every 90 days? Well, they raise the rates. Exactly. And then they carve out coverage. The the crazy thing is, you know, that uh, the number one things that happen as far as the types of risks that happen on a house, right, uh, are seem to be all those things that they want to start excluding or capping. So, you know, we, we deal with uh, foundation endorsement. We deal with water damage. We deal with mold and fungi. You want to make sure that you have those things covered. Those are normally by endorsement in each one of the states. What's funny is that folks that are uh, only have one policy and one price will carve the three main things out that you actually probably are going to have a claim for within the next seven years uh, by the numbers, right? They'll carve those three things out, and then they'll give you a lower price. What's nuts is those are the things that you actually need the coverage for. That's crazy. What kind of response do you get from other insurance agents and other insurance companies? That's a pretty uh, wealthy group of people that you're kind of up against here, and they've got some money to throw around. Every time I look at the the top 10 list of who the biggest advertisers are for the last week, there's two of them. They're almost always insurance companies. One has a lizard, one has flow, and they're always in the top 10. They throw a lot of money around. So what do those people think when you come along and say, hey, we're doing it this way, and our customers are the ones that are helping promote us? We're we're not even on their radar, right? Because that's the amazing thing about it. People want to sign up or want to be with who other people recommend. Now, 
are they going to recommend a company that just constantly jacks their price up and they have no other choice besides to have to go out and take that process of finding insurance somewhere else on their own and get quotes from all these different companies to then come back and then make that decision? We do that all at once for them. We can show them the price from, you know, sometimes 50 or 60 companies uh, that want their business. And, and it's all about appetite, right? So in the business of insurance, they've got standard rates and they have non-standard rates. So when you see the standard companies, those are going to be the ones that, you know, that we all can name you know, their household names, right? The non-standard companies are going to be the ones that maybe not everybody knows. But the risk pool that some of these other companies look for might be a perfect match for somebody that had an accident, had a claim at their house where the hot water heater you know, blew up and leaked all over the floors. There, there are companies that want risk like that, uh, and, and they're looking for it, and it might be a better price than somebody that doesn't necessarily want that risk. The megaphone for us, the medium for us to be able to meet our potential customers and look for the looking is just through our customers. We don't have to do big commercials. Uh, we don't have to spend a ton of money online uh, to be able to bring people to us. Our phone just rings off of brothers, sisters, coworkers, parents, friends. That's awesome. And, and that means that you're doing something right because people wouldn't tell their friends, brothers, cousins, sisters to go do business with somebody that's not doing it right. Uh, exactly. And it comes down to just having plain speak with people, roll up your sleeves, put the pencil behind your ear, and try to find the best price. And again, this is not something they have to pay for. This is just us going out, purely negotiating the rates with independent insurance companies. But, you know, names people know. Travelers, the Hartford, Safeco. You know, Safeco's a Liberty Mutual company. Progressive, you mentioned flow earlier. We have all of those rates. Uh, and, and, and we're able to give our customers the best price nationally. So if I'm working with you, I might be working with one of those companies if they have the best rates through you. Yeah, and you can make that decision. I mean, you might say, hey, I do want you know, that, that name brand policy. It's a little bit more a month, but I want to go ahead and have that name brand. I like their commercials or I like what their brand is about. Um, or you might say, hey, I, I want the, um, the generic brand. You know, what is the best price? All of the insurance policies, whether it's home uh, or auto, are going to be state regulated. So your insurance policy for your car is the same no matter who you go with, specific to the coverage that you pick. Yeah, and when you think about those, you were talking about the name brand compared to the maybe the ones that you haven't heard of. Who, who do you think is paying to make those a name brand? It's the insurance policy holders. You know, you guys are the ones writing those checks to pay for Flo and the Lizard and all of those people to keep their jobs. No, exactly. You drive to the studio here in Dallas today. I was thinking about this. Um, I went back to the King K and one of the companies that's a public company. They spend 45% of their gross earnings every year on commercials. Wow. So ultimately, 45% of the premium their customers pay is for them to go out and acquire more customers. So as they get more customers... They spend more money on advertising. Their costs go down, but their rates only increase. That's the joke about these direct companies, right? The reason why they have one agent that only has one price is because if they gave them other prices or other companies, they wouldn't be selling that expensive one anymore. All they can crush up on is value. Again, Jared Parsons has been our guest. The website is 972 parsons.com and i was asking that's kind of a weird website why is that well it's their their phone number too so now it makes sense 972 parsons.com jared thank you again for chatting with us today this has been an eye-opening experience and i think it's cool that you guys are blazing a trail and doing something that hasn't been done before that's awesome hey we love it we appreciate the time thank you so much again jared parsons right there with parsons insurance and again the website is 972 parsons.com and the phone number is the same it's 972 parsons thank you so much for listening today have a great day